Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers. I've been wanting to do a video on them for quite some time, but I felt like they just kept coming out with more and more, and I kept buying them, and then I couldn't catch up. I think I have all the shades now except maybe one. So I want to do some swatches today, I want to talk about them, because I think that these are super cool. In my opinion, lip toppers in general are like a super underrated item. I think they are so amazing and I love these a ton. They do go for a certain look so I don't wear them as much as I would like to just because every day I don't want a metallic lip essentially but when I want that like boom I think these are perfect. So I'm gonna kind of just go through and swatch each shade but I'm not gonna like swatch each shade at, like just with like music and stuff like that. I'm gonna actually talk and stuff that way it's not boring essentially. So I'm just going to be swatching over my bare lips because my lips are like a regular light pink tone, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to kind of go from lightest, I th I th what I think is lightest, to darkest. So I'm going to start off with the shade Choke. A lot of these are pretty iridescent and so like here it looks pink but on it lips it looks a little blue. And I'm just gonna be doing light swatches of these. You can build them up if you want, to, but I just wanna give you like the like one layer look. So this one is Choke. Some of these are a little bit more opaque than others. It just depends which one you get. Some of them are a lot sort of thinner and give like just a sheer kind of look and then some of them have some pigment in it. It just depends. So this next one is Dope. So this one looks kind of gold in the tube, but on your lips, it's more of like a lighter bronzy pink. Also, I kind of forgot to mention, these dry down pretty much completely solid, like matte, but like matte. So you're not gonna get any transfer and they can be put on top of liquid lipstick or you can put like a gloss over them. And they are safe for your face, not your eyes and your body. So you could definitely use like one of these as a highlight if you wanted to. So this next one is Cleopatra. This is like a rose gold type of color. After I'm done swatching all these on my lips, I think that I will pull out some black lipstick and we'll swatch some of these over that so you guys can get like the full effect. This next one is by far my most favorite one ever. So this one is Lit. And this one is a super, super intense like rose gold. Okay, so this next shade is Acid Fairy. And this one is a, like a blue purple sort of shifty one. This one gives me like alien vibes. This next shade is called Unicorn and I've used this one a couple times already. This one's like a really, really pale pink. Next one is called Trip and now we're gonna kind of get into a lot more of the colored ones. Those ones were all kind of like lightish colors and they really pop when you put them over something else. Alone they can all kind of mesh together but these ones are all like super distinct. So this one is like a, <laughs> you know, very purple blue. Next is this one called Fluke. This one has a little bit more coverage than some of the other ones. This next one is called Strip and this one's a hot, hot pink. I've used so much of this one. This one is one of my favorite ones to just wear by itself. 
I realize no one ever shows like how you do consecutive swatches. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do in between every swatch. So I just grab a makeup wipe and I usually, and it seems weird, but I usually push inside like that. That way I don't mess up like a bunch around my lips. And then I will take my concealer and on days where I like we know I'm gonna be doing swatching I won't put a bunch of heavy foundation I'll usually just use like a BB cream and then concealer and then just put it kind of around here a little bit and then I won't use a beauty blender because I don't want it to be like wet around there so then I'll use like one of these oval brushes And then for me, I'll just wipe off my piercing. Voila, ready for the next color. I felt like I wanted to show that because no one ever shows like what they do in between lip swatching. If I'm swatching liquid lipsticks, I will also use an oil to help take it off. Sometimes if they're like really drying, I'll grab like a little bit of a, like I'll pour out a little bit of oil and then put like it with a brush and just brush it on and then do the same thing that I just did. So doing that, the next one is Heirloom? Heirloom? I totally am not saying that right. And this one is like a pinky orange. This one I would say is a little bit more of like a metallic liquid lipstick. Just because the other ones don't quite have this much like straight up pigment. This next one is called LA and this one is like a orange. <laughs> <laughs> like a very bronzy orange though. These dry so quick, literally like 30 seconds and it's down. These do definitely stain though. I mean, this is like tense, <laughs> but it's fine. Cause the next and like last color we have are purples. Let's do black unicorn first so this one is a very looks very very glitterly glittery sort of like an oil slick this one by far is my absolute favorite i mean like i don't even need to need to explain why and last but not least this is gemini and this is like a dark 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 purpley it almost looks a little bit bronzy so so this one was a little bit harder to get even i don't think that any of the other ones are uneven except maybe just this one a tad bit could be my application but it's just looking a little bit uneven but I don't think it looks bad. So yeah, those are all of the swatches of all of the lipsticks pretty much. Now I am going to go grab some lipstick and then we are going to put these over some different colors. Okay, so I grabbed Lime Crime, Black Velvet, and Moonstone. I wanted to get like as close to white-ish that I could, so black and like a really light, light, light gray purple. What I'm really wanting to do is put this black down and then put black unicorn over so i'm gonna put black on and then i'm going to put black unicorn over and i think it's gonna look bomb so now i'm gonna put black unicorn over so pretty So I think that looks so good. So what I'm gonna do is put some swatches on my hand and then we're gonna go over some, some different colors. Okay, so I'm gonna put like a big black swatch there. And then I'm gonna put a swatch of Moonstone right under. Now I know these might look like big, but that's the point. That way we can show all the different colors. I am gonna clean them up a little bit though. I wish I could ask you guys like which ones you want me to do. So that's not possible. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Cleopatra and I'm gonna put a little swatch over this. And 
Next, I'm gonna take Lit and do the same. And then I'm gonna take LA. And Trip. I think this might be the last spot. I hope you guys like this type of video. Weirdly enough, my Instagram is like a dedicated makeup page and a lot of my subscribers here are from there. The makeup, the actual like makeup videos I do that aren't like a challenge or something don't really seem to do very well. So let me know if you guys like like actual makeup, makeup videos or if you guys want me to continue to, with kind of like a more lifestyle stuff like I have been doing, let me know. But anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.